Hey folks, in this video, we're going to test some snake oil, I mean engine oil additive to see if it improves fuel economy. I watched a video on the Project Farm YouTube channel where he tested the Ceratec engine oil additive made by Liquimali. He tested it in a lawnmower engine and it provided a small improvement in fuel economy. So I thought I'd try it out in my Prius. I was originally going to buy just one can of the Ceratec additive and put it in the engine oil. But then it occurred to me since the Prius is a hybrid, the gasoline engine doesn't run all the time. The engine oil additive isn't going to do any good while the engine is off. So I decided to put the Ceratec additive in the transmission as well. Liquamale says not to use it in transmissions or rear differentials that use wet clutches. But the Prius transmission doesn't have any clutches, so it should be safe. Anyway, that means I need to buy two cans of the Ceratec additive. On Amazon, they were about 26 bucks a piece. So this experiment is going to cost me about 52 bucks. The Prius was due for an oil change, so I'm going to drain out the old oil and mix the Ceratec additive with the new oil. Oddly enough, the instructions on the can and the instructions on the box don't say the same thing. On the can, it says you can mix it with 3 to 5 liters of oil. It also says the additive will last up to 30,000 miles. But on the box, it specifically says the can will treat 5 liters of oil. And since the can is 300 milliliters, that would be a 6% solution. And it actually mentions the 6% quantity on the box. But the engine in the Prius has roughly 4 liters of oil. And 6% of 4 liters is 240 milliliters. So I'm going to use 240 milliliters of the Ceratec in the engine oil. As for the transmission, it holds just under 4 liters of oil. For that, I decided to use 200 milliliters of the Ceratec additive, which is roughly a 5% solution. The instructions also say to shake up the bottle pretty well, so we're going to do that. Now let's crack it open and mix it with our new engine oil. It has this funny pinkish beige color, and it smells like ceramic pottery, which kind of makes sense considering it has ceramics in it. Anyway, I have a bottle of engine oil that's partly full, and I'm going to use a graduated cylinder to measure out 240 milliliters of the Ceratec additive to put in there. The cylinder is only 100 milliliters, so I need to fill it up twice, then an extra 40 milliliters. Then I'll shake up the oil bottle really good and pour it in the engine. And after that, I will add enough engine oil to top it off. And that's it for the engine. The transmission is a little more tricky since it doesn't have a dipstick or a convenient place to pour in the oil. I put the car on ramps to get easier access to the drain and fill ports underneath. By the way, this is the drain port for the transmission oil. Don't confuse it with the drain port for the coolant, which is this one. And up here is the fill port for the transmission oil. Now I'm not replacing the transmission oil because I did that recently, so the transmission oil is still fresh. Instead, I'm going to drain out a little bit of it to make room for the Ceratec additive. That was tricky because the drain port wasn't really made for that. It was meant to just open it up and let it all drain out. So unfortunately, I made a bit of a mess. And since I'm not changing the transmission oil, I'm not going to mix the Ceratec with oil. Instead, I'm going to put it in a squirt bottle and use the squirt bottle to put it in the fill port in the transmission. And last but not least, I used the squirt bottle to add transmission oil until it was full. It's one of those deals where you add oil until it starts to leak out the fill port.
and that's it. We just need to make sure everything's buttoned up, and now we can enjoy the benefits of increased fuel economy, because science. Right? Maybe? Let's drive the car and find out. To see if the Ceratec additive made a difference, I'm going to compare the three fill-ups before adding the Ceratec to the three fill-ups after. Of course, that involves a total of six tanks of fuel, which is a lot of driving. So it took a while to get this data. But I keep track of this car's fuel economy, and the Ecomotor website has a nifty feature that charts your fuel economy over time. On this chart, we're concerned with the six bars on the right side. These three are before adding the Ceratec additive, and these three are after. So we're going to compare those. If we do some math, the average fuel economy before was about 61.5 mpg. And the average fuel economy after was about 63.3. Okay, so that's a difference of almost 2 mpg. So it looks like the Ceratec additive did actually improve the fuel economy. But the big question is, did it improve the fuel economy enough to make it worth the 52 bucks for the two cans of the Ceratec additive? To figure that out, we need to do a little bit of math. Liquamoly claims the Ceratec additive will last up to 30,000 miles. That may or may not be true, but for our calculations, we'll assume it's true. So we need to figure out how much money we'll spend on fuel over the course of 30,000 miles and see if the Ceratec additive will reduce that cost by at least 52 bucks. My Prius averages just over 60 miles per gallon, but we'll use 60 mpg just to make the math easier. Also, the price of gas in my area is about 350 per gallon right now. I realize the price of gas is variable, but we'll assume 350 per gallon for our calculations. So over the course of 30,000 miles, my Prius will burn about 500 gallons of gas, which will cost about 1750 bucks. So for the Ceratec to be worth the money, it would need to reduce that cost to below 1700 bucks. And if we run the math backwards using the 1700 fuel cost, that means the car would need to burn less than 485.7 gallons over the course of 30,000 miles. That comes out to roughly 61.8 mpg, which is 1.8 mpg more than the 60 mpg we started with. So, in order for the Ceratec additive to pay for itself, it would need to improve the car's fuel economy by at least 1.8 mpg. If we look back at my fuel economy data, the fuel economy improved from 61.5 to 63.3 mpg, which coincidentally is an improvement of 1.8 mpg. So it would appear the Ceratec additive made just enough improvement to pay for itself. In other words, the total cost is going to be about the same as before. Call me Captain Obvious, but in my opinion, that's not an improvement. So I'm going to call this eco mod busted. It did improve fuel economy, but not enough to actually save me any money. So in my opinion, it's not worth the trouble. That said, maybe there is some situation where it would be worthwhile. I'm not sure. What about you? Did you try any engine oil additives and did they produce any results? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you next time.